Hari Om, my dear friends. This is Jay Kaushal, writer, motivational speaker, and life coach. And I'm taking you on a new journey now. This is going to be part one of the 10 part series that we're going to do on support groups. What better place to start this beautiful journey than Dev Prayag? The godly confluence of the two rivers. Can you see that uh, muddy colored river over there? That is Alaknanda. Flowing in from the Satopanth glacier. It meets, can you see the greenish river over there? That's Bhagirathi. Flowing in from the Gangotri glacier. And that gorge, that valley, is where the Alaknanda is flowing down from. Look at the sheer flow of that river. And over there, you'll be able to see the rapids. Yes, right there. Can you see the rapids? Can you see those rapids that are generated by the Bhagirathi? There's a reason that this place is actually a haven for river rafters and uh, for the people who love adventure sports like uh, kayaking. It's just a flow that's amazing. And these two rivers, they meet here. And from this point on, they're known as only one river. The longest river in India. The largest river in India. The Ganges. The famous Ganges. They were flowing in up till this point. 205 kilometers, I guess for Alaknanda. 190, 195 kilometers, I guess for Bhagirathi. And from this point onwards, they become one. They become the mighty Ganges, which flows for 2500 plus kilometers covering at least a fourth of the Indian subcontinent and it flows into the Bay of Bengal after that. Experience teaches you things that mere words cannot. If you can experience what this union is, you can understand what a confluence of lives is. That's what a support group is. Over and over, over and over, over and over, in the last videos that we've done, I've tried to drive the point across that you need to invest, that you need to dedicate your life, your body, your soul to a higher ideal, to a higher purpose, to a purpose, to an aim that goes beyond your physical existence and the only way that that strategy works the only way that you can achieve something so great is when you build a solid team when you build a support group and those three fundamentals that I've told you before they need to have the same values the same vision as you they need to believe in you and they need to be able to grow at the same pace as you. Because if your support group isn't growing at the same pace as you, then these are the people who say that, oh, the winner, the winner always uh, tends to be alone. The person who is the most successful doesn't have many friends. All of these, all of these stupid, all of these banal sayings that you've heard, they all come from people who don't realize now when you work together, none of us is as strong as all of us. And the only way that that can happen is when you have people with you who believe in the things that you do. They will egg you on. They will push you. They will watch you when they feel that you're not giving you 100%. These are going to be the people who are going to egg you to take up bigger challenges, to exploit your potential to the highest degree. In the coming episodes, I'm going to teach you the concepts about conflict resolution. How you can build a support group. How you can build allies. The mightiest of kings were always the kings who had allies. All scientific discoveries, if you uh, actually take a look, all of the uh, Nobel laureates, all of the greatest inventors of our time, all of the greatest uh, scientists of our time, they have all built their work on top of the work 
that was already given to us by other scientists, by other entrepreneurs. So you see, building something that great is not possible unless you have people with you who believe in the same things as you do, who have the same vision for this world as you do. That's what a support group is about. And uh, this is a beautiful place actually. This is where uh, the journey to the mountain starts. Uh, you have the five Prayags, uh, this is one of them, the five holy Prayags, they all have a confluence of two rivers or more and uh, it is actually said that this is not merely uh, the uh, confluence of Alaknanda and the Bhagirathi, they say that uh, this is also confluence of the river Saraswati. And they say that you can, can you see that part over there in the middle where those people are standing, you know, that is the actual point of confluence. They say that on uh, a clear day when uh, the levels of these uh, rivers are not as much, it is uh, quite evident. I mean, the locals told me that it's quite evident that there is a distinct stream of river flowing out from that cave like structure. You know, you see that in pink over there. And I have actually uh, seen the Saraswati River. It is, um, it flows for I guess about 50 meters uh, a little way off Badrinath but then it merges uh, into Alaknanda and they say that it actually flows uh, underground and it comes out here again. So this is where the journey starts. Uh, millions of people, millions of devotees, foreigners, tourists, uh, they throng the mountains. So we have uh, the uh, Chardham over here, Badrinath, Kedarnath. Tungnath, Gangotri, Yamnotri and then you have uh, five of each for each of these places. It's a beautiful beautiful place Uttarakhand. So from uh, Rajasthan we've come to Uttarakhand and uh, can you see the, can you see the Shivaliks? This, these are new mountains obviously uh, compared to the Aravalis. The Aravalis are uh, residual mountains. They used to be as high at some point of time in uh, I guess hundreds of thousands of years ago. But the Shivalik range is really impressive. It's really high. It's really expansive. And we're going to show you some beautiful uh, views coming up. Snow-capped peaks. Pristine. Completely. Um, a place where uh, you can completely forget yourself. And we're thinking that uh, that is where we would also like to shoot our videos uh, for meditation. But right now, I just want to leave you with the image of this beautiful confluence. I want to tell you that this is what, this is the power of what a support group is. This is what a support group is. You come together because unless you come together with people who have complementary strengths or at least, you know, uh, partnerships that can amplify your strength, unless you can achieve that level of camaraderie, it is very difficult to achieve something as great as big, as unique and as powerful and as memorable in life and uh, so guys on that note I would just like to show you two views in particular that beautiful beautiful view so we've actually uh, taken a lot of time to scout out this particular location this vantage point which, show you, which shows you the three important points here over the left you saw the rapids That is where the Bhagirathi comes from, existing as just Bhagirathi. Over there, you see the Alaknanda coming in through Vadrinath uh, Satopant. And over there, you see no longer Bhagirathi and Alaknanda. That is the Ganges. And on that note, we'd like to end this video. I'm going to see you again uh, next video and uh, be prepared we're going to throw a lot of uh, surprises your way like comment share let us know what you think and see you later bye bye